Hey guys, Julian here from Ripe House, and in today's video, we're going to be going through top locations to invest in Victoria, more so Melbourne, uh, for in terms of where they're sitting from a data perspective. As we go along, we're going to be using the Ripe House data tool. We'll be running through the data and the AI and where these locations sit just purely from that algorithmic score level. However, for full disclosure, these areas have not gone through the strict vetting process and manual refinement that goes through from a research level. So over 80% of suburbs are rejected by our research team when we go through this process. So we're just looking at things purely from a data and AI perspective. At least it gives you a bit of a, I guess, a starting point of where you can look to moving forward. So I'm just going to bring the tool open on the screen now. And for the first suburb we're going to be jumping into is Burnside Heights. So Burnside Heights is out in Melbourne's West in the Melton LGA. And just running through some of the numbers here. So median house price just above $700,000. Looking at a yield of just above 3.3%. at 3.3%. Um, Some things to be wary of for, for this area as well. So um, this area has not really grown over the last quarter. So the reason this one's sitting on the R score of 97%, which is in the top 3% of data and AI uh, suburbs across the country, is because we've had the stalled, sold state average for that area go up at about 3.4%. However, that area has only gone up at 0.1%. So there is a bit of a discrepancy. There's a 3.3% discrepancy in comparison to the state average. So there's a bit of a lag effect tapping into that area. So that's one of the bullish indicators. The other bullish indicator is that we do have, uh, I guess, a bit of a vacancy rate squeeze happening in there. So one sign here that is of note, it's a bit of a warning, is the vacancy rate just does look a little bit high. So we're sitting at 4.4%. There could be anomaly of data there because we, are, again, we haven't done a manual verification on this, but it is closing quite quickly. It's clo It's dropped by nearly 100% from the previous month, and we still are seeing rental price increase in the area. So when we see vacancy rates compressing and we see rental price increasing, it's normally a bullish indicator of that this area may be moving in towards a capital growth cycle. Uh, another strong indicator is proximity to utilities and amenities in the area. It's in the top 15% of the country, so still looking really, really strong. But that lag effect is why it's sitting so high in the area as well. It's got good population growth as well in the LGA of Melton. Uh, moving into number two. So the number two area that we're going to be looking at is Cranbourne West. So let me just get that up on my main computer here. And we're looking at Cranbourne West. So in the LJ of Casey, city of Casey, which is all on the other side of town now, we're out into Melbourne's east. Uh, and we're looking at a slightly higher median house price there, around that kind of $775,000 point. Uh, yields are still quite low, 3.1%. Uh, but we are sitting slightly higher in terms of proximity to utilities and amenities. So we're sitting at 86% with a slightly lower R score, but still in the top 10%. We're at 91% of the R score, which is fantastic. And that's being heavily, uh, I guess, carried by that proximity to utilities, population growth. But again, we are seeing a gap in the sold price data in that area. So sold price data is around about 4.3%. That area has gone forward 1%. So there's a 3.3% gap there. And that's why it is also sitting quite high on the R score as well as all the other data factors There's over 25 data factors that come together to formulate that R score and the final one we're going to be going to is more so in the west but more of the inner west northwest location is Epping in Victoria so Epping in Victoria we're looking at a median house price again in the 700,000 720,000 to be exact yield at that 3.2 percent level uh, proximity to utilities is even higher here. We're sitting at 92% for the area, um, and the R score is sitting at 87% for the area. So very low public housing, 1.6%. Uh, there is a, a gap again. The area has gone forward. It's actually pulled back over the last quarter. It's gone back half a percent. Meanwhile, the state has continued to push forward. So it's actually about 3.3% behind the average. Vacancy rates have come down just over more than 20% drop over the prior month. So we're down to a 1.2% vacancy rate there. And the rental price is still increasing in the area. It's gone forward 8.5% in the last month. So again, 
all bullish indicators are looking strong uh, and is sitting at 87% on the R score. So very interesting. If you have any thoughts on today's videos, please leave us a comment. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And we're looking forward to catching you on the next one. Bye for now.